So we're gonna do something slightly different. I pulled three different cards from the um from the palette I had, and then I'm gonna clarify. Them. So y'all just take what resonate and leave out what does not apply. So first card we got is slept on you. Then we got Spider Man, and then we got Stalker. So Leo, there is somebody that may have stopped talking to you. Whoever this is, some of you guys, this is somebody that may have um, ghosted you, I'm hearing. Some of you guys are somebody that's ghosted you, or they may have been ignoring your phone calls or your text messages. Um, but I'm getting this energy where somebody tried to shut you up. Maybe y'all got in an argument with this person before they ghosted you or before they left you behind. And um, maybe they just didn't like to hear what you had to say to them, Leo. So they may have hung up on you and just flat out ghosted you. Most of y'all may have got ghosted. But I feel like this is somebody that wanted to, to have some form of control, Leo. Somebody wanted to have some form of control over you. Now, some of you guys, if you did get ghosted or got written off by somebody, I feel like you are standing in your power. If you are not standing in your power right now, you about to be. You're about to be. But um, some of you guys could be definitely spiritual, I'm hearing, with Spider-Man. So, Spider-Man had certain abilities. So, I feel like y'all, some of y'all could have, like, certain abilities. I, I mean, also hearing that somebody could have a disability, whether this is you or whether this is them, whether somebody have a mental disorder or somebody could have a physical um disability, I'm hearing. I don't know. Maybe somebody has something wrong with them, whether this is physically, mentally, emotionally. This could be your person. But it also could be you too, um, Leo, if you have some type of disability or whatever, right? But even if you are staying in your power, Leo, right now, because some of y'all are about to get into this energy, I feel like this person could be stalking you. Maybe they're stalking you online, Leo. That's what I'm picking up on. Some of you guys, there is somebody that could be stalking you online as you stand in your power after they ghosted you or written you off. Especially if it's like on Facebook, Instagram, wherever it is that you have like a social media account where this person can, can watch you. I feel like this person could be um, stalking you, Leo, for some of you guys. Oh, wow. Yep, we got the three of wands right here. I don't even know if y'all can see this, child. This person is definitely stalking you. I called it out. So if somebody ghosted you or written you off, blocked you, whatever the case may be, they looking at you move on and make progress. They see you are not phased by this, Leo. Like I said, even if you are phased by it, you're not showing it with the three of wands right here. You're definitely not showing it. A lot of you guys, um, maybe you could be just having fun, you know. Maybe you are you could be posting like pictures of you and your family. Maybe you're going to like celebrations, gatherings, maybe you could be at the beach. I don't know, child, but some of you guys could be like posting stuff online where your person can see you doing good without them. And they're definitely stalking. Because we got it twice for real, for real. They see you moving on and standing in your power. But um, we got the six of pentacles right here. Now, whoever this is that tries to have control over you, Leo, by, like I said, by writing you off, ghosting you, blocking you, whatever the case may be, this person could be having financial, um, finance problems, financial problems. Maybe they could be um, going through some things with their own personal family, their family. But this person definitely lacks some type of support around them, Leo. But I am seeing you stand in your power because this is somebody that couldn't give you the same energy. You know, this is somebody that didn't want to, um, there, basically there wasn't no reciprocity in y'all connection, Leo. You felt like you was the only person that was giving into this situation, um, Leo. But I am seeing that you are standing in your power and you're not giving in with the Six of Pentacles reverse. You're not giving in. I'm hearing you're not giving them the satisfaction of seeing you hurt or seeing you sweat. Even if you are, Leo, I'm just getting this energy where you're not giving in. You're not reaching out. You're not trying to get a hold of them. You know, you're not allowing this person to see you sweat, Leo, at all. You are moving on. You're making progress, Leo, and you living your life, you know, without them. Because they could not give you what you want. So, like I said, this person could be stalking you. Literally. As you stand in your power and you not give in. 
stalking. This person is straight stalking you, Leo. Love, yep. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces or a fire sign or earth sign. But this person, they stuck hanging. The stalker is just stuck. And, and, and if this person trying to make change, this person is not changing. Like I said, this is somebody that could be going through some thing, personal things in their life with their family, with their finances. They don't have no support around them, Leo. They don't. But I just keep hearing in the back of my mind, don't give in, Leo. I feel like y'all not going to give in. You're going to continue to allow. I'm here. You're going to continue to prosper because a lot of y'all are doing really good without this person. And um, you're just not giving in anymore. You're just not reciprocating that energy that you you were not you're not giving them the energy that you that this person could be looking for you know what i'm saying they just gonna have to sit there and watch leo and be stuck and left hanging okay what else spirit in this situation i just keep hearing don't give them the satisfaction don't let them see you sweat leo don't continue to live your life continue to move on continue to push forward continue to let this person know show this person that you know, you're not phased by them. That's exactly what I heard. I just got the chills when I said that. And, and that's what they're doing. They're stalking you. This is somebody that sacrificed you. We got temperance. Yeah, somebody got a lot of patience. So I feel like this could be you healing, Leo. Some of y'all could have Sagittarius in your chart or maybe even Pisces. But I am seeing that. Somebody stuck on change while you over here healing and um, regaining some type of um, balance within yourself, Leo. You are some. You are at peace. While they over here stuck watching you and not making no changes, not making no move. Period. But I'm also seeing that as you leave this person, I'm hearing. Um. You know what? I just feel like you could have been like a, um, I'm hearing an earth angel to this person. Maybe you was meant to come in this person's life to heal this person. But I feel like, fuck it, you healing yourself. If this person hurt you, Leo, and you have not, you know, and, and they don't know this, they probably do low-key, but you're not showing it on the outside. Like, I just feel like you're just going with them right now. You're being guided to heal. But it's also telling me that your person could be thinking about um, coming back and making peace with you, Leo. We got the King of Wands. You guys definitely are at peace right now, healing, you know, um, holding back your energy. Like I said, you're not giving in. A lot of you guys are just not determined to go forward with this person anymore, whoever this is. Wow, Four of Cups. And you know what's crazy? The more they hold back from you, the more bored they get, the more confused that this person is. Because you giving off the impression that you're not phased, you have moved on, you're doing better without them, you have you have not gave in. Meanwhile, they over here watching you hold back from them. They they want you to make a move. What they want you to call them why they blocked you. Maybe in the past you may have used to reach out through, I'm hearing like WhatsApp, text now, or use to call them private, but I feel like you're not doing that anymore. You're holding back. You're holding back. You're holding back, which has this person missing you, Leo. The more you hold back, the more less confident they become. You see what I'm saying? about? Because I feel like somebody has tried to control you. They thought that you were going to continue to give in and give to them. No. You tired of that shit. You, you, I'm hearing y'all making peace of this situation and holding back, Leo. I feel like it got to the point where some of y'all, y'all got, y'all lost, some of y'all lost attraction to this person. Maybe the, the passion, the fire must be gone, you know, with this person. But I'm telling you, you got this person over here sick for real with the Four of Cups because low key still holding on to you sitting here watching you not give in that's the energy that i'm picking these two cards stand out the most the king of wands reverse and the six of pentacles reverse we got the six of swords right here this person holding back stuck trying to move on but i feel like this is your energy moving on peacefully moving past this energy 
And you know what's crazy? Even if your person did physically move on, Leo, they still watching you for one. They still miss you for two. And on top of that, they stuck on moving on. They can't really move on. It looks like they're they're mentally moving on, but they still looking on the other side of what they lost, which is you with the King of Wands reversed. They lost you. They looking back at you. They can't move forward, whoever this is. They can't move on. We got the Page of Pentacles. Some of y'all were dealing with a player that I'm hearing offered the bare minimum. Some of y'all probably didn't even get the bare minimum with this person. I can't say that word. But some of y'all didn't even get that. Let's keep it moving. But y'all got somebody stalking y'all heavy. They thought they was in control, but now they, I'm here, no, you had, you, you had huncho right now. You in control of this shit. You're not allowing this person to see you sweat at all. You're not. Even if it hurts, even if you bothered, not bothered. This person bothered, bothered as hell because you moving on at peace with move. You okay with moving on. They, they really was trying to like, they want, what they expect you to do, cry? We got the Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, you made it easier to move on. Even if it hurt. But I feel like your person was just stressing you out. They was a burden. They just, I'm hearing this, this person was just way too hard to deal with, Leo. You couldn't take it no more. I'm hearing release. You, you could not take this person anymore. But it is telling me once again, y'all are healing. Y'all keeping yourself in balance. Y'all are being guided to completely release this person, Leo. And, and things will get a lot more easier as you be with, as you are at peace with yourself. That's what spirit is saying. Things are going to get a lot more easier. The more you are alone and at peace with yourself and you're healing and, you know, I just feel like things are about to get more easier as you fall back from this person, period. We got the King of Pentacles right here. I just feel like you're going to be the bigger person in this situation, Leo. You are. And some of you guys, um, like I said, maybe you could be um, holding accountability for putting up with that stuff, even though it's not your fault. You know, I feel like some of y'all, I'm just getting this energy where y'all kind of regret dealing with this person because maybe physically you really wasn't attracted to them for one. Maybe they lack ambition. Maybe they lack drive. Maybe this person ain't had no job. Some of y'all dealing with a bum. And you were providing with providing to this bum. Some of y'all, y'all probably barely seen this person. Like they barely came around. Because they a hoe with the King of Wands reverse. Some of y'all were dealing with a HOE. And I feel like you were the one that's always, I'm hearing apologizing or holding some form of accountability or something that they did. And you just got tired of that shit. You got bored with them. You got tired of them. You got fed up. Queen of Wands reverse. Y'all both holding back. All these kings and queens. Y'all are dealing with some a low vibrational fire sign for some of y'all. Or a water sign. Maybe even an air sign. But like I said, this person was a hoe anyways. Um, I feel like a lot of y'all are taking full responsibility of the situation, even if you know you wasn't wrong in the wrong. This is like I'm just getting a deep regret of even dealing with this person. But they made it easier for you to walk away and lose. I'm hearing sight of the situation. Like maybe you blocked this person on everything for some of y'all. Maybe you finally going to or you finally have blocked this person on everything. But this person literally left the King of Pentacles, somebody that was solid, somebody that cared about them. You really did care about this person, Leo. And now they over here confused about the decision that they have made because they walked away. This is somebody that act like they wasn't even attracted to you. They act like they wasn't even attracted to you. But they are definitely confused about whether they should stay gone or whether they should make peace with you. 
Five of Pentacles. Yup. I'm here. This is somebody that abandoned they self for real, for real. Because you are somebody that's more in your power. You moved on or you're in the, in the making of moving on, in the process of moving on, living your best life. Even like I said, I'm here. Even if you feel like you're not living your best life, Leo, you will not allow this person to see you sweat at all. You will not allow this person to see you sweat. They just sitting here confused as hell because they thought that they, that they had control of the situation. But all they can do is sit there and watch you move on peacefully. And you know what's crazy? The more peaceful things get around them, like not having nobody around or just not having you around. I'm here. The more silent things are when you're not around, the more alone they start to feel. They feel abandoned. Because I feel like when they were around you, Leo, this person had peace. But when you are not around them, things in their life is chaotic. Like, literally. Like, somebody mentally moved on. Well, think they mentally, they try to mentally move on. But even if they did move on, Leo, physically, it could be mentally or physically with the Six of Swords. Even if they did move on, Leo, and try to forget about you, this person still feels left out. They still feel abandoned. Like I said, they're struggling in their finances. Some of you guys, this person lacks security. They lack stability. Maybe they could be losing their house. Some of you guys, but I just feel like this person, I don't think they really plan on completely like leaving you. Yes, they may have physically held back from you, but they really struggle with actually leaving you, leaving you, leaving you. Like I said, it's somebody I want to control. Some of y'all this person wanted control because you wasn't offering any support anymore. Maybe you, like I said, maybe you did care about this person. Maybe you did support this person in a way, Leo, and they'll go ghost. They'll fall back on you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you'll give them something that they want, and then it's like they walk away from you, Leo. Like they don't want to be around you. But now they're feeling left out in the cold, and they're struggling financially. Six of Pentacles reverse, and the Five of Pentacles, this person, some of y'all's person getting kicked out of their house or something. But it's telling me that they never, they don't have the desire to fully let you go. Even though it looks like it physically. Listen, mentally, mm -mm, they want to make peace with you. But I feel like you have peace, peacefully walked away from somebody that had you struggling. Because I'm hearing some of y'all may have even made a sacrifice for this person at one point in time. In regards of your finances. You know? But I'm just getting this energy where they want to play games. They want to, I'm here to throw a fit. Some of you guys, person may have threw a fit and just ghosted you. Maybe they hung up and ghosted you. Or they got mad because you wouldn't give them something. Or it had to be something. But I feel like y'all are completely letting go of this betrayal, Leo. And you could be working on yourselves. Some of you guys are focusing on your work. You could be rebuilding yourself back up, Leo. But I am seeing y'all get to a point where y'all fall out of love with this person. Or you just don't give them the love that you used to. I feel like you're leaving this love interest behind. Didn't I say this person's life falling apart? Whoever this is that you used to love or you feel like you had to pull back your emotions from, this person's life is going to fall apart. So it's telling me something is not over. Whether this is between y'all, this karmic cycle ain't over between y'all, or... What they got going on behind there, I'm here ongoing um, karma. They may be in a karmic spot right now, a karmic situation where they could be losing their job. They could be losing their friends. Things won't get better in this person's life, Leo. Threes are all about expansion. Things expanding, things growing, union. That's exactly what I heard. Things are not going to get better. Things are not going to prosper where they at. Because who the hell this person thought that they was playing with? They was playing with the King of Pentacles, the only person that cared about them. The only person that held this person's, had this person's back. I'm here through thick and thin. You was solid. You was loyal to this person. Even if y'all wasn't together, Leo, you was still loyal to this person like y'all was together. That's how, that's how deep in you was with this person, Leo. And they fell back on you. They slept on you. Like I said from the beginning. Slept on you. They slept on you, Leo. 
because they thought that they 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 just want to control over you, control over whatever it is that you had to offer. And it's like the minute they don't get something, they just ghost you or they get mad if you try to explain yourself to this person, like about anything. I don't know what it is. Some of y'all was arguing with this person about something, whether this is something they're not doing or whether this is something that they need to do and they may have got mad. This person's afraid of you abandoning them, Leo. This person really got abandonment issues. That's why they blocked you or slept on you, whatever you want to, rich you, ring you off, fell back on you, however you want to call it. This person got abandonment issues. Okay, what else? But they just wanted that control over you, Leo, but I'm here not anymore. You know what? Let's pull this and some Kipper. I think I should pull these cards. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. But we're going to do it anyways. But for for the most of y'all, this person ain't going to be doing too good after they ghosted you. I feel like you keeping them blocked or you keeping them, you letting them stay where they at. Some of y'all blocked them from everything. Some of you guys, you probably kind of blocked them from everything. But then again, you didn't. It's like, I don't know. Maybe some of y'all kind of have one foot in and one foot out about this person. Maybe you just want to see if they're going to come back, even though you probably told yourself that you don't want to deal with them no more. Maybe you want to see what they do. I don't know. Some of y'all want to be nosy. <laughs> I don't know. But some of y'all could be stalking them, too, just to see what they do. But most of y'all probably not. Even if you was, you probably stopped stalking them. But you gonna like I said, you're being the the bigger person in the situation. You are the mature woman. You could be older than slightly older than this person. I'm here slightly. But I'm telling you, as you just you walk away, or after after they walk away from you, things are going to prosper over here in in your energy. Things are going to grow. Period. And it's gonna have them concerned. They gonna end up reaching out. I had a feeling, cause like I said. I'm here, wherever they water their plants at, wherever, wherever they water their seeds at, is not going to grow. Because you've seen the world card reverse and the three of pentacles reverse. Ain't shit prospering over there. Things falling apart. Things are falling apart over there. Things are growing over here. And you outgrown this person, Leo, like I said, which has this person concerned. Because you're not chasing them. You're not begging for them. You know, or any of that. The more you grow, the more I'm hearing, the more you uplift your spirit, especially if you're healing and you patient and, you know, you're being guided to light. Let the situation go. The more, the higher your energy get, the more concerned that they are. But some of y'all, this person going to end up reaching out to you. What else, Spirit? So just take what resonates. Everything may not apply. Look. We got privileged lady. You are the privileged lady, child. They're going to reach out to you acting like they're concerned or they're missing you. And, you know, they only concerned because they see you getting a lot of attention. Especially, like I said from the beginning, if you are on social media where they can see you, Right? Some of y'all's person probably hiding from a fake account and they still see you. They see you get all that attention from other people, y'all. They see that. That's what. That's another reason why, like I said, they are concerned. Especially if you posting stuff and you look, looking like you having your best, you you living your best life, whether you is or you're not, right? They see that shit. They they see it. That's why they're so concerned. And you know what else that they're concerned about? Your person concerned about you being with another person. Because privileged lady is all about the second woman. So they afraid of getting abandoned. They afraid of getting left behind. They, they don't like to see the simple fact that you are getting attention from other people. It's like you step your game up. Some of y'all switch, switch, like change your wardrobe and they seen that shit. Like you could be looking a lot more classier. Maybe you guys, I'm, I'm just getting this um, shift, this change in your appearance. 
for some of you guys, whether this is your wardrobe, whether this is your hair, whether you cut it, I don't know, maybe you change the color of it, maybe you, they see you, maybe you, you just showed off your new home online, or maybe you just show this person, I don't know, child, but they look at you as marriage material. Some of y'all probably are talking to somebody new. I don't know. Maybe you could be engaged to somebody. I don't know. Most of y'all that ain't even in. I just feel like you stepped your game up. It's like you moving it with class. You know, you're not chasing them. You're not, you're not doing none of that shit. You're not. If anything, you got this person triggered. You definitely got this person tr triggered, Leo, about your level up. They triggered. Look, great fortune. They're coming back around. They see that some of y'all's person see dollar signs, and that could be another reason why. It's like you may have leveled up even more, Leo, after this person ghosted you or after this person left you hanging. Some of you guys, it's like you stepped your game up, and now they want, now they concern. Oh, now they want a second chance to be with you. Because some of y'all's person could be wanting to be with you. Look, did not say that. Some of y'all got y'all stepped y'all game up, Leo. Paris is different. Everything is different. Some of y'all, if you are with somebody new, you could be engaged to a wealthy man, somebody with a, you know, a good reputation, Leo. Maybe this person make a lot of money or this could just be you, you know, knowing your worth, Leo, raising your vibration. That's exactly what I just heard. Cause that's what I, that's what I heard for real, for real. When I picked up this temperance card right here, like you have definitely rose to this bullshit, for real, for real. You didn't sit in this shit. You didn't cry. Some of y'all probably did, but like I said, you may slightly, you may have got over it. Some of y'all, but it's like you not allowing this person to see you sweat at all, y'all. You have, uh, you have rose into this bullshit for real. Like you lift up your spirit. You got up off that couch. You have changed some shit up. Stepped your game up. Got your money up. You know, like I said, like literally. They see you getting a lot of attention. You looking like money. You're looking like dollar signs. Or you got somebody else. Some of y'all probably posting another whole nother man or a whole nother woman. And maybe this person could be married. I don't know. Maybe the new person could be married if you got a new person. Or the person that ghosted you probably. You probably married or engaged to this person. But I feel like some of y'all's person only want to engage with you because of your money, Leo. For some of you guys. That's the only reason why they want to engage with you. Because of, of your money, your wealth, your status, you know. But like I said, some of y'all's person concerned about somebody else having you. Because they know you are somebody that's worth holding on to. You know, They know you are somebody that's worth investing into. I'm telling y'all. I'm hearing fortune after difficulties with this person. Because some of y'all may have, like I said, made sacrifices and ended up broke because of this person. Or you just ended up short in your bills or in something. You know what I'm saying? For some of you guys. But I'm just hearing fortune after difficulty. They slept on you. That person goes at you. They slept on you. They wrote you off. Now they see you do good. Now they stuck. Now they stalking. Now they confused about whether they made the right decision or not. Because now they feeling left out. They feeling broke. They feeling abandoned. They going through some shit. And I don't concern you. They really don't. Especially if they did that to you. I wouldn't give a damn no more. Honestly. I don't care how much you love this person. You, if they treat you like that, it's time to move on. And I feel like that's, a, that's exactly what a lot of y'all doing. Y'all are moving past this bullshit. You're not about to let this person see you sweat after what they've done to you. Cause you, some of y'all, this person caused you to be unstable. Look, we got love. Some of y'all got a new love coming in. Some of y'all are attracted to a new soulmate or a new soulmate could be a new lover could be attracted to you. But if this is the same person, they could be coming back to show you love, Leo, to hold on to you. They want to hold on to you. We got Cupid's arrow because this person still has faith. They don't want nobody else to have you. But some of y'all probably got new love coming in, a new soulmate. Or like I said from the beginning, maybe you are dating somebody new. And maybe you still could be married to the past or they could be married to somebody else currently or the past. 
Um, like I said, some of y'all are going to get engaged to this wealthy man or this wealthy woman, whether they are wealthy or not. But they, they have something to offer, right? But, um, yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah, y'all rising above the bullshit. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation. Y'all are outgrowing that person, literally. Y'all transforming, period. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates and y'all take care.